Hey, what's up guys? It's Major Shroot here. Today I'm going to do a quick video and show you how to set up your Thrustmaster TFRP rudder pedals in DCS and go over a couple issues with them. So once you get them plugged in and all set up connected to your computer, you'll want to open DCS. You'll want to go to Options, Controls, F18 Sim, Axis Commands, and now you should have a column for the rudder pedals in the control menu. You'll want to go to rudder, double click that. Then you'll want to cycle the rudder pedals. There we go. Hit OK. You'll want to scroll down to the wheel brake left. Double click that one. Uh, tap on the left toe brake. Hit OK. Now you want to do the same thing for the right toe brake. And hit OK. And now you're set up. So now let's go in and jump in a hot start Hornet and see how they work. Alright, here we are in the Hornet. And first thing you'll notice is they are very sensitive. Barely pushing at all on the rudder pedals is like a full pedal press in the plane. So trying to taxi is a little bit difficult when they are very, very overly sensitive. can make it really hard to keep the plane straight and taxiing straight. Alright, so we want to go back and adjust the sensitivity a little bit. Alright, so there are a couple different ways to adjust the sensitivity. Uh, first we'll start with setting up some curves in DCS itself. So we will go back up to options and go into the controls again go back to access commands and go to rudder scroll down we want to select rudder and then select axis tune here you want to set some curvature so they're not so sensitive I usually do usually about 25 on the curvature feels about right Alright, once we got the curve set up, hit OK. Let's jump out of this. And now I'm going to go set some dead zone for the rudder pedals in some Thrustmaster software. This way it will apply to all planes and you don't have to do them individually. Alright, you'll want to go back out, go to the internet, and you'll want to go to Thrustmaster's website, thrustmaster.com. You'll want to go support and download. You search the support site for pedals, and you will want to download the very first thing that pops up, which is the advanced calibration software. Fairly quick, very small program. Go back out and open it up here. And you'll notice right away that it recognizes that you have the rudder pedals plugged in. Keep in mind for a later time in the video, you see the green bar jumping around like crazy. Uh, keep that in mind for when I show you something later. Alright, cycle the rudder and the wheel brakes and they will all center. And then you want to set the center. And then you'll see the little blue arrows. This is some dead zone, so you want to increase that just a little bit. set the dead zone at 5.5 so the rudders do not engage if you're barely pushing on the pedal it actually you actually got to push a little bit to get them to start working all 
All right, then we'll apply the configuration and you'll have to unplug and plug them back in to get it to save the settings. So go ahead and do that. And you'll notice that the green bar is once again jumping around. You'll need to cycle the pedals to get that to center again. There you go. All right, go ahead and exit out. Now we can head back into DCS here. Let's go ahead and launch another F18 hot start. All right, so you want to cycle the pedals before you move the plane. If you remember when I showed you that green bar jumping all over the place, you'll want to cycle the pedals to get them to center. Every time you get in the plane, do that, or they're going to be ultra sensitive for a couple seconds. All right, let's taxi on out. Oh yeah, it's much more smooth, much less sensitive. Feels much, much better. Able to taxi smooth and hold on center line very easy. I'll do a quick takeoff here just to see how they feel. Toe brakes work. It definitely feels much better after adding some dead zones and some curves. we are. Alright, now I'm going to go over a quick issue that sometimes happens after DCS updates. Uh, sometimes you'll hop into a plane and your rudders will control the thrust and the pitch and the roll. So if you try to taxi and you're trying to use your rudders, it may throttle you up and you may hit a fence. All right, we'll go up to Options, Controls, F18 Sim, and go back to Axis Commands. Scroll down, and you'll notice that the rudders are bound to Roll and Pitch and Thrust. So we'll want to click the rudder column and clear the category. Now you just got to go back in and rebind your rudder and wheel brakes, which we've already done, so it should be fairly straightforward. When you go back and assign the rudder binding, you will also go, have to go back into the axis tune and set your curve at whatever you like it at. And that is it for setting up the Thrustmaster TFRP rudder pedals in DCS. If you have any questions, post them in the comments or you can ask on Discord. Go check out r slash wingman finder and find you a wingman.